Okay, so we just received the brand new railgunner tower and it cost me 15,000 cash to get from the shop. That is incredibly expensive and currently the most expensive tower in the game. I just spent like 20 bucks with a Robux on this tower, so uh, consider subscribing. Anyways, I think Blocks out should be a pretty good map because <laughs> I just want to showcase it. All right, I'm going to do normal mode because I think easy would just be kind of boring and <laughs> I'm not trying to do elite. Uh, for the early game, I'm just going to place down two barracks because those are super good at defending and pretty cheap. Then all I got to do is get a couple farms down and then I should be able to afford the railgunner pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and I got my friend Visible Pepper YT here. If you don't know his channel, make sure to check him out. His videos on TDX just like this. He's up and coming, so you know, just give him some support. All right, I got 10 farms down and I got a 4-2 barracks. So now I'm going to start saving for the railgunner and hopefully I can get it soon. Okay, so I finally have enough cash to buy it on wave 16. And okay, dang, that's a lot of range. I'm pretty sure that's more range than the missile trooper. All right, let's just see what it does. Okay, so it seems to be a uh, single tar Oh, it's set the strongest by default. That's interesting. Okay, so it's kind of like a high damage single target tower, kind of like the Ranger from TDS. Let's check out his upgrades. So the first upgrade reduces its reload time and it increases its range. And the other one increases its damage. Damn, that's almost double. Wait, that's a really good deal. Okay, let me do that one. Let's see how it deals with this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> he just obliterated somebody else. Okay, this, it seems like the bottom path is all damage, and the top path might be increasing fire rate. So maybe the top path is like a really fast shooting railgunner, and the bottom one is like a, sing a huge damage single target. Uh, let me get that top one, and okay, this one reduces its reload time a bit more. Uh, I guess I can do that because it's pretty cheap. Let's see how it deals with this guy. Woo! It is shredding itself. Oh, yeah, and, and I, I think it bypasses the, uh, the armor thing. So it deals full damage against these guys. That's really good. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's actually crazy. Is he, <laughs> he might actually be worth the 15,000. Okay, let me get the uh, the rail trooper. Um, that's It reduces his reload time again, increases his range, and gives a stealth detection. Okay, that's going to be useful. Oh my goodness, that looks sick. Oh my. Uh, the only issue I have with it is that you can't really see the uh, the bullet go to the things. But other than that, it's it's a sick tower. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get this lightning cells thing just to increase its damage. And now we just get to see what the top half does. Look at it shredding those enemies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's literally one-shotting everything. That's crazy. I We honestly might be able to solo just with this guy. Or <laughs> we have barracks, but maybe if we sold them, we could survive with just this guy. All right, so the next upgrade costs 12,000 cash. That's pretty expensive. But this one increases its damage to 475 reduces his reload time to 300 and increases his range okay 475 if I, I don't know if i'm mistaken but i'm pretty sure that's already the most damage out of any tower in the game but we're just gonna have to wait until i can afford that oh my but just look at how it destroys these revived titans that's crazy these guys don't stand a chance oh my god wait i'm looking hella love in this tower this is dope uh let me set it to last so it kills that uh that grenadier so he doesn't keep spawning stuff Send him back to strongest. See, is he guys? I'm a pro gamer. Look at that. Okay, monster detect. Okay, this guy's pretty strong. So we're gonna see how this guy. Actually, ooh, we can get the upgrade now. So let's see how well a uh, a four two railgunner can deal against a monster. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can he kill him though by himself? Oh, he definitely can. Oh, easily. Oh my goodness. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his health just drop. Dang, that's insane. Okay, so this guy is really good against single target enemies, like bosses and stuff. This guy just destroys them. Okay, for the last upgrade, 28,000 cash. So that's pretty expensive. It increases it to 655 damage. It does it has a reload time of 225 and a range of 30. I mean, that's not a huge increase of damage, but it's, I mean, 655 is a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. And 2.25 is a really short reload time for that much damage. All right, but we're just gonna have to wait until we can afford that. Okay, these guys can be an, uh, a problem sometimes, but I, I don't think that's going to be a case this game. Oh, it's already dead. It's already dead. That's crazy. <laughs> this guy's already dealt 22,000 damage. Yeah, I don't know if it's better than the Juggernaut, but I think there's a pretty good chance it is. Look at 158 DPS. That's pretty solid. Well, that's not as much DPS as the Juggernaut, though. But I think the fact that it deals so much damage is going to be pretty useful. And that, considering it's like really big range. Oh, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it's 
it's uh, it's relatively cheaper than the juggernaut it's not a lot cheaper though it's still pretty expensive oh i can i can get the max one now all right let's see this Whew, that looks crazy look at that design and of course he one shots everything well, let's see how it deals with this next wave oh perfect a little boss right here Whew. oh my goodness that's a lot of damage okay, okay he stunned him of course wait he's actually destroying him god damn uh actually it might be an issue with all of these like crowds of enemies because it deals so much damage against single targets but it can't really deal with crowds so that's probably the only issue with the rail gunner but yeah look it absolutely destroyed the smasher god dang and then my barracks should be able to clean up these don't <laughs> look at rioter just going to work <laughs> all right cool so that's the top half of the rail gunner now i think it's about time for us to check out the bottom path we can get up here at the same spot next to it and let's just start maxing out the bottom half okay sentry Th 625 damage oh, oh my god wait that's already as much as a maxed out top half or almost holy that that looks crazy oh my god it's like a whole turret okay let's get the top two ones as well okay okay it seems like the bottom half is definitely more damage focused but it has a quite a bit slower fire rate and i don't think it's gonna get stealth detection all right, what does the next upgrade look like? Dual barrels. Okay, so that is 1,000 damage? <laughs> oh my god, bro. And it, re it reduces the fire rate and increases its range to 46. All right, let's check that out. Big gun. Okay, I like that. I, I don't even know what it's going to target. It's just, it's like, it's pretty much one-shotting everything. Oh my god, the real gunner is insane you're joking <laughs> Six thousand five hundred and ten damage per shot it's it's really expensive though Sixty three thousand cash oh okay that's interesting it says it has an aim time of 11. oh, oh he's gonna kill my okay i gotta play some distraction so it doesn't kill my freaking uh rail gunner please don't <laughs> please don't no 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 there goes <laughs> god dang it oh it's really frustrating Okay, I hope we're still fine, but this is actually kind of an intense wave. Ah, uh, I actually might have to put some money into my barracks. Because I'm not trying to die right here. That would really suck, dying this late into the game. Because barracks is really good. I'm hoping barracks can clutch up right here. <laughs> yeah, real gunner is good, but it can't solo all the way, I guess. Whoa. Look at that range. That's not even maxed out yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. It looks like Visible got some mind layers in the back. Hopefully that can clutch up. And it looks like uh, Barracks is doing his job. Yeah, look at that. It's getting shredded. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, hopefully we don't have to place anything more now that we've killed him. Now it's back to focusing on the Rail Gunner. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. He didn't even take any damage. Dang. All right, let's see if we can afford this by the end of the game. It's Kai, we have five more ways to get 30,000 30, extra cash. Uh, it might be a little bit iffy on affording it, but we can try. If not, I'll just have to hop in another game. Okay, I have... I only need 20,000 more cash, and then we can get the big boy. That is a crazy photo, by the way. I'm really excited to see what this looks like. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem this guy ever can detect stealth. But it, it usually is like that in this game. The top half's gonna detect stealth, and the bottom doesn't. And I mean, oh my goodness, this guy would be broken if he could detect stealth. <laughs> he could pretty much do everything. Uh, bears. Okay, we can afford it. We can afford it. All right, let's get it. Oh my god! This is not even a person anymore! <laughs> Holy crap. Wait. Oh my goodness. It just one shot out a monster. 550, 542 DPS. Okay. Uh, it really cannot do anything against crowds of enemies, though. That is a problem. Look at that range! It reaches all the way back here! Wait, that, that's definitely that's definitely the coolest tower in the game. Oh my god. Okay, let's just let's just max out these barracks so we don't lose the game. Uh, I'm just excited to see what this guy does against the boss. Unless we die right here, which would be really cringe. Yeah, this, this <laughs> the, the real gunner is insane, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not soloing everything. That is such a cool tower though. I kind of wish it had more of an animation though when it shot. Like, okay, here's the boss. Uh, d d I was not prepared. Let's just get a bunch of operators down. So that he gets distracted by those. 
Because I'm not trying to have him kill my freaking railgunner that I spent a billion dollars on. This guy should be really good against Eradicator, though. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. Now let's see how this guy handles him. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. That is so much damage. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my god. But an 11 second aim time. 11 seconds to aim though, but one second reload? I'm not really sure how that works. It's cool though. Holy. Okay, it's it's definitely not going to solo though, so I might want to try get a... I, I'll probably get a top half rail gunner, just because I think it's a little bit more reliable. Because it also helps with these guys that are kind of creeping up in the back. And the other one is way too expensive. He's still attacking though. He's still in range. That is crazy. Look at that. This guy has dealt 122,000 health this game. That is incredible. You know what? I, I'm, I'm not trying to get another one in the back here. Actually, no, there's no way I can afford that. Let me just uh, let me get a couple of top paths. Oh, hopefully that's enough. Wow, he is okay. He is really attacking everything. Let me get a couple operators for distraction purposes. Let's see if we can sell this game. I, I, I think I can. Let's see, let's see if we still die even, even with the, the real gunner. Okay, but this along with the barracks and the juggernaut. Hopefully we're good. Hopefully. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Oh god, that is not good. Okay, but big hits from the rail gunners. Oh god, that's a big stun. That is not good. Okay, but the mine the mine layer? The mine layer is about to shred. Unless it kills everything right now. Dude, chill out. Okay, there he goes. Alright guys. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this showcase on the, the rail gunner. I'm not gonna lie, this tower seems really freaking cool. Uh, I love the animation and I love the design. And I overall just love the concept of a really strong attacking tower. I mean, the fact that the bottom path deals 6,000 damage is just insane. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Head Mafia. My name is Corso and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.